I had always wanted to write and because of the fact that I was very into politics from very early age, I decided that I would become a journalist, which I did. And I worked for as a journalist for very many years, uh, also while I was attending law school. And then one day I saw an ad in a newspaper. It was an ad for a um, competition, a crime writing novel competition in one of the publishing houses in Norway. I thought that, well, this might be my chance. But at the time, I was working more than full time as a lawyer. I had my own law firm, so um, I had to write during night time. I had the title. I had the title, Blind Goddess. I had had that title for like 10 years. I didn't have a clue what kind of novel it was supposed to be, but the title should be Blind Goddess. And then I started every night at eight o'clock uh, because I worked more than full time as a lawyer at the time. And actually, I finished the book, but I didn't make the deadline. So I had to go to another publishing house, uh, which of course they were happy for. Um, and what happened was that this book was an instant success, which is quite rare uh, as a debutante. It's very rare to make an instant uh, success and, and to, to head right into the best-selling lists. My intentions were to um, to make this a one book story. I never had any idea that actually being an author would be my way of living so many years later. But um, after this great success, uh, my publisher said, you cannot stop now. So I said, okay, one more. And it became even a bigger success. So I was l kind of lured into doing this. And uh, now I'm here 17 books later. <laughs>